NVIDIA is preparing a Jeffers RTX 3090 graphics card. Word on the vine is that NVIDIA is preparing an RTX 3090 graphics card to bolster its Ampere-based rank and file, whose design has already leaked out. This leak comes from the incredibly reliable Igor, via the Diacards, and since the same has also been suggested by Copite, the graphic card's existence is confirmed, and we will not be using the rumor tag with this. That said, the name of this card is not confirmed. This is because it is very early in the game, and Nvidia has been known to change things up at the last second to discredit the leak scene. In other words, you can trust the specs of the variants, those not marked with a, but I would still advise keeping that salt shaker handy, until we have first party confirmation on naming and other details. Is Nvidia replacing Titan branding with RTX 3090? According to Igor, Nvidia is currently planning at least three variants of its RTX 3000 series. These are the plain vanilla RTX 3080, RTX 3080, T-Super, and the RTX 3090, T-Super. Once again, the nomenclature is not confirmed while the board, GPU, and memory type are confirmed. All three variants are based on the PG-132 board and will feature different bins of the GA-102 chip. All three GPUs will be equipped with GDDR6X memory and will feature a 300 plus bit bus width. The SKU we think is going to end up being called the RTX 3080 will feature a 320 bit bus width, along with 10 GB GDDR6X RAM and 320 WTDP. The SKU currently slated for the RTX 3080 T Super designation will end up with a 352 bit bus width, 11 GB GDDR6X RAM, and 320 WTDP. WTDP. The flagship SKU, which is being referred to as the RTX 3090 GPU right now, will end up with 24 GB GDDR6X double-sided RAM, 384-bit bus width, and 350 WTDP. All GPUs will feature 3X display ports and HDMI. The flagship RTX 3090 GPU will feature NVLink as well. The information here seems to suggest that NVIDIA is planning to replace the standard Titan brand with the RTX 3090. It contains the NVLINK, as well as double the RAM of its younger siblings, and a separate RTX Titan card does not make sense with this RTX 3090 in the mix. The primary reason for the existence of the original Titan brand was because it offered a much higher double precision ratio than the standard Jeffers cards along with other variants, something that got eroded over time and generations. The last Titan was just a very powerful GPU with a ton of RAM, with almost none of the Pro features. This is why moving this branding to RTX 3090 makes a lot of sense. It could also mean we just might see one of the greatest Titans ever to be built, if Nvidia decides to ship out a proper semi-pro card with this generation. One thing is for sure though. Nvidia is shaking things up and bringing out an absolute monstrous lineup, with its RTX 3000 series graphics cards across at least three variants. And this of course, only includes the GA102 chip. The smaller chips are there as well. Nvidia begins investigating RTX 3000 series design leak at Foxconn and BitO, and by the way, remember the images of the Nvidia RTX 3080 we posted? Their authenticity has been confirmed as Nvidia has launched an investigation into the leak at Foxconn and BID, Build Your Dreams, the manufacturing concerns helping Nvidia make those shrouds. According to Igor's sources, not even Nvidia's managers were privy to the leaks and only saw the shape through publications like us. NVIDIA is apparently pretty miffed about the leak from the validation line and is trying to apprehend the person responsible. Ed. You would think they would have gotten used to the leak scene by now. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you like. Subscribe for more videos. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming video notifications.